why. Um, I have to do makeup anyways because I'm doing a little photo shoot today. Um, so I figured I'm gonna just go live and do like a little makeup tutorial and then I can post the products later. So if you guys are interested, stay on and I'm just gonna do a quick little tutorial of like a full face of makeup just because we're doing some photography today. It's so early and my face is too tired for makeup, but we're tempting because we don't have a choice. Hi guys, hi, hi, hi. I'm super tired. Um, we're doing some makeup today, so. All right, um, it's gonna be kind of quick and I can't go over all the different uh, makeup here, but I will say this to um, the camera roll. I'll put it on YouTube if you guys would like and I'll post all the products as swipe ups later. Okay, let me know if you guys want that. All right, so, um, so far what I've used, I'm gonna show you and I'll actually post the products later, but this Elta MD, the sunscreen that's tinted, I use this every single morning. Um, it's kind of like a moisturizer and it's slightly tinted and has SPF in it. Um, and then I just use this, uh, what's her name? Charlotte Tilbury, which I'm kind of obsessed with these days. I like just bought her stuff and I love it. So that's just like a nice, um, just like a nice clean uh, <clears throat> little foundation. It's like nice and lightweight. I'm also putting on some of this Coats chapstick, which my kids make really gross, but your lips are feeling a little dry. It's nice. It also has some SPF in it as well. Okay, then the next thing I'm gonna do, I just decided to do this live because I have to do my makeup anyways and I get questions about this stuff. So stay on if you guys wanna see makeup. Okay, um, this is that Wander Beauty that I love as well. It's um, the concealer that I use. It's so good. So this part, um, which is like the little wandy part, you put that on first. And that's like the more intense part of the concealer. Watch this, you guys, I'm like so tired and this like really helps. I also do a little bit like this and like this to sort of highlight. Hi everyone, good morning. It's like so early here in California. <laughs> um, and then you just kind of blot it all in, pat lightly, up here's Andy or Jolie or someone. Who is it? Who's it gonna be? Hi, babe. Oh, cereal. Hi, and more cereal? Oh my goodness. Andy, look, we're live on Saturday, everyone. You know what Andy said to me? I told you that we're waiting to do pancakes um, for when the photographer comes so we can take pictures of us making them. And she Mom. goes, I don't want cereal, mommy. That's what normal kids eat for breakfast. Mom, no. Right. Oh. <laughs> no. Kind of dark. What's the matter? Oh, can you say hi to everyone? Look, Mom, Mom, look everyone's Mom. waving to you. You see the waves? Mom, Mom. More cereal? Mom. Okay. Give me one second, okay? Can you say hi to everyone? No. No? That's not so nice. You know what you could do? Want to take a chair and go get it? No. I know it. Go take a chair and go pick any cereal you want. Like a normal kid. Okay, so then there's two parts to this concealer. That's why I love it because this part is the more intense part, which really helps cover like here. I never put it like in the corners because that's where th things tend to like crease a little bit. So I just do it right there, right like this half. Um, where I always have like the darkest part of the circle. And then this part is more of like the creamy part, which makes it just look kind of like iridescent-y and um, softens the whole thing up. So that I kind of do all over there. You just sort of dab it. It's kind of bright with the sun shining in here. Let me, hold on. Let me do this like that. Yeah, maybe a little better. Can you see me a little bit better now? Okay. I'm so tired. Hi everyone. I hope you guys are having a great morning. Let me know if you guys want to see more of these like tutorials. Ultimately, these are going to be on Dini Klein. Uh, Dini underscore Klein Instagram. Um, I'm just doing them on here because I can do like swipe ups on here. I could have done a video on there actually. Probably should have, but that's cool. Okay, here we go. I also go down the bridge of my nose a tiny bit. It's all about just like rubbing things in. That's how you get that really natural, just like effortless, like glowy. Okay, that's the base. Beautiful. Now I can take this out. Oh. Got so rushed today. I also have my coffee that I brought here. Oh. All right, next up, um, really quick, we're gonna do some like jawbony action. This Kevin Aquan, um, in medium. So I do for like my cheekbones. And I just use this kind of flat, heavy kind of brush, just to make these lines right there and right there. And we're gonna blend it all out. So don't worry. Okay, hi everyone. And then I go on either side of the bridge of my nose, just to emphasize 
make that look slimmer. Depending on what kind of nose you have, you want to do different things with it. It's all about like contrasting and highlighting. It's like art. <laughs> okay, I like to make it slimmer and then highlight the bridge to bring it all up and out. And then I always do a little bit up here and then under the jaw like that, just to accentuate your jaw bones a little bit as well. Okay, starting to get a little bit of light. Cool. God, am I tired. Like tons of emails and Instagram messages and DMs that I'm gonna get to, I promise. I'm so good, thank God, about like getting to all your messages and stuff, but it takes effort, man. But I, I really try to get to everyone. So if you've messaged me, I'm getting back to you, I promise. <laughs> okay, here we go. So then I'm just using this is so old, you could use any bronzer you like. I'm just using this Arbonne bronzer. Um, What's wrong with this hair? I need to like recurl this a tiny bit. It's a little intense. <laughs> um, tiny bit bronzer to go over those lines that you just kind of put on there. And I use this to sort of blend it out. Like that. See that? Like this one. And then you want to do where the sun naturally touches your, like hits your face. And you would naturally get a sunburn. So like right up there. I accentuate this a little bit as well. You could do like a little color one too. Okay, it's having fun, bright and early. <laughs> it's like these impromptu lines. Okay, um, next thing is, oh, you could do a little blush now. You guys know I love Glossier. I know they just had like a big sale. I should have mentioned that. I should have bought some stuff also. I forgot and didn't realize. Cool. All right, but this is their cloud paint and storm that I love. So you could do it with your fingers, but I like to, with my fingers and I blend it out with a brush. So you just do like a little dot and then blend it out from there. And I like using creamy kind of blushes and just creamier things because it makes that dewy look that I love. I do a tiny bit on my nose. Also for pictures, I'm doing more, a little more makeup than usual, but this is generally what I do every day now. Hey everyone. Okay. Good morning, good morning. We're just doing some makeup. I'm doing a little photo shoot in the house today um, with the family, getting some new stuff for you guys. So I just decided to go live, cause why not? Right, I'm gonna go over that bronzer with this bronzer, the Stila um, Bronze Heaven's Hue Highlighter. Just because why not? I like to just like blend and mix some really different things. I'll post all of these if you guys want later. I'm just going over that again, just because it adds like a nice, like, kind of shinier highlight. Just a little bit over each of those places. Okay, you see how it's starting to come together? I'm gonna change the light in a minute because it's like so bright coming in there, but I'll move you guys in a second so you guys can really see what it looks like. It's kind of tricky. Okay, make sure you get that, um, the bridge of your nose and everything. So remember I, I went on either side of my nose. I have like a smaller brush here if you want to get a little bit more precise, which is sometimes a better idea, especially if you're doing photography. You do like this and get like a straighter line. I know it's kind of weird, but it does make a difference. Okay, there, that's better. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're gonna highlight um, at the end. We did our blush. We'll use that at the end. Okay, brows. Depending on what kind of eyebrows you have, you may require different things. What I do is I use Boy Brow um, by Glossier and I just brush them up and over. So my issues with my eyebrow is that this one is like a little sparse right there. I don't know if you guys have noticed that before, but it's kind of annoying. Um, but it's fine. So I just like brush them up and over. If I wanted to fill in there, I could. I never do, but you could. But I just love this boy brow because it adds a little tiny tint of color. Um, plus it just helps them kind of stay put, especially if you have like kind of crazy brows like I do. It shows them who's boss. Okay, cool. Oh my God, I'm so tired. Anyone else have the coffee with them? I'm so tired. Oh my Lord, okay. Um, next thing I want to show you guys is this. Oh, teamwork, good things, okay. So. I told you this, um, what's her name, Cynthia? I never remember her first name, Charlotte. Charlotte Tilbury. I really love her stuff. So I just bought her 
um, Exagger Eyes, and I'm such a sucker. She did the, um, the makeup for the Victoria's Secret Angels for the show, and then she showed how she made the angels look so gorgeous using all of her products, and then I bought them all. Like, Instagram, powerful, right? But they're really good products. So this is the palette that she used for the Victoria's Secret show. <laughs> but they're actually gorgeous colors, so I'm just gonna use all of them. So I'm doing this one as the base. And normally I don't do eyeshadows on a regular day, um, but I'm doing it today because I have photo shoot. So this is kind of like your base. And we start with the brightest as the base. And I like to keep the center like close in here, keep that all light. And then, all right, so that was the lightest one. Now I'm gonna do this one. Um, and then I'm gonna like go over this a little bit and kind of, I always like kind of make like a triangle, like boop, 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 boop. That's sort of what you wanna do. Cause that's what makes this pull outwards, you don't actually pull, I'm saying, but makes your eyes kind of look elongated. So that's sort of what I do with all the colors. I'm no makeup artist, but I pick some stuff up over the years and I just know what works for me. So I go out to the corner and then in, corner in, corner in, corner in. And you see how it kind of just like pulls everything open and awake? Pretty cool, right? Okay, you guys having fun? Like who's having fun here? Very early in California. Okay. <laughs> um, then I'm going to use this brownie one, and you could use a different brush for each one. And if you're a makeup artist, you're like, oh my god, change brushes. I know. Hee <laughs> hee. I use the same for everything. And I'm just going in that same exact, I'm going in the crease, and then finishing that little triangle. Okay. And then again, crease and triangle. See, you guys kind of get the motion there and there, there, there. You want chocolate milk? <laughs> These girls. Um, oh, it wasn't done yet. Sorry. Okay. So that was the darker brown one. And what you can do, if you do have another brush, what is nice to do, or you could use this one, but I like to be a little bit more precise here, especially if you're gonna be taking pictures, use that same color and just go right here as well. Oop, that was way too much, hold on. But just go under a little bit just to sort of line them. Do you see that? It just kind of opens the eyes up, brings out your eye color. Sorry, I'm looking like the mirror and in the phone, okay. It's just nice though, and you could also do, don't pull too hard, but you could do this, um, Oh, just don't poke your eye out. Um, you can do it along the base where your mascara is gonna go, like right along your lashes. That also helps pull things open a little bit and accentuate, gives like a more dramatic feel. Do you see that? Okay, we're getting there. Um, and the last one is this like super shiny one. I'm just gonna do a little bit of that with that same brush and put that right like in the middle, just like right in the center of your eye because that's what's gonna pop. Okay, and I like that. And as I mentioned, I'm doing a little photo shoot today, which is the only reason why I'm getting all like glam in the morning. And I figured I'd go live. Um, oh god, I'm so happy you like it. <laughs> Gigita. Yeah, it's, I do like very simple, easy makeup, and I like to share what I learned because I think that's just so cool about social media and Instagram and I'm just being able to share things. I know. Hold on, Joe. <laughs> I love you. She's so cute. <laughs> All right, a few more minutes here. I'm watching Peppa Pig over there. Okay, so this is Glossier again. I love them. This is Quartz, their um, their highlighter. What I love is that it just reinforces that glowy, dewy feel because it's kind of this like wet little stick. So I do it on, on cheekbones and then I do it down the bridge of my nose. And this is very important. You wanna get it straight line and just the bridge of your nose. If you make it a fat line, your nose is gonna appear fat. Okay, so put it where you wanna accentuate it. And then what I always do is make like a little circle right here and then line. 
That makes sense? Okay. Then I take my fingers and I just kind of rub it in a little bit. Ah. You guys see the difference this makes? Like, it's like, you don't need makeup. I'm like, okay. Sure. <laughs> sure thing. I don't like to wear too much makeup, but little things go a long way. And then you can put a little bit right here as well. And then, if you want to go crazy and really accentuate a beautiful highlight, um, what time is it? Oh my god, I have to go soon. I've been using this e.l.f. big highlighter and blush, and I'm really kind of obsessed with the highlighter. I was like, I bought this online, and I think I was going to use it, and the highlighter is so good. Check it out. Watch. So I just highlighted, but this takes it one step further. So I just do a tiny bit to really highlight those cheekbones right there. And hold on. Make sure you get this one right. Okay. I'll show you in better lighting in a second. Put that highlighter there. Beautiful. Um, okay. Like three more things, I swear. Okay, so you see how like we're just we're getting there slowly. Face is done. Now you want to take your eyelash curler. Okay, who's having fun, guys? Yeah, I'm gonna save this guys. Karu underscore, I will save this. Um, and I'm trying to put it to YouTube. Okay, does that sound good? And then I'll link all the products here in my highlights in the shop my look um, section. Even though I do all food and try to keep it to mostly food, obviously we get questions about everything and I'm happy to share and help. So I learned so much of my stuff from social media and I buy a lot of products through Instagram and it's just amazing. So I always like to share any wisdom that I have. And if you guys have any recommendations, I'm always game to hearing and trying it. All right, this mascara, my mom actually bought a three pack at Costco um, over the summer. It's Voluminous Lash Paradise. I'll post all these products, I promise. Um, I have to look at the mirror for this, I'm sorry. Um, but it's actually an amazing mascara. I've been using it to death and I kind of need a new one because it's getting a little old, but it's an amazing mascara. It makes my lashes really long. Oh, oh okay. La, 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 la. La, la, la. Almost done here. You'll see what a difference it makes once I pop mascara on. Oh my God. Check it out. See how it just like opens? Okay. Right? Tired. Glam. <laughs> okay. Oh my God, it's so much to go set up and clean. Here we go. Okay. We're almost done. We have like one more thing to do, which is do lips and then set it all. And I want to show you this amazing lip color that I'm obsessed with now. Thanks, guys. It's a work in progress. Once you like figure out your routine, it's like the best feeling. Like what works for you and all the best products. It takes time. But I'm like really happy with my routine. And I keep like adding random little things here and there, but I never change it too dramatically. So I'm like really pretty happy with my routine. Okay. I need a brush. Ah. It's a hair man. Alright, so okay, so that's that. Um Okay, one more minute and we're done. You ready? Um, lips. Again, this Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. Such a gorgeous color. So I'm just lining my lips. Okay. And I always do this trick. If you nix that little bump that goes in that indent and go right over it, like that. I know it seems weird, but hold on, watch what happens. I learned this trick from watching Daphne Oz go live. Oops. <laughs> Okay, so look what happens. Do you see all of a sudden, if you blend it out, you see all of a sudden you look like plump? Isn't that weird? <laughs> so a lot of times for like during the day, I'll just do that and then I'm ready to go and it looks like you're put together and done even though you didn't really do much. Yeah, so that's the liner and then this is the Pillow Talk um, actual color. Again, from the Victoria's Secret show. <laughs> Just call me an angel. Um, but it's really pretty. I love it. Okay? And we're done. Booyah. Hold on. I'm taking this matte 
MAC Prep and Prime that I love. First of all, it smells delicious. Plus it like adds some more dewy. Let me take you out of my, <laughs> do you see what you were sitting in? Cool. Um, hold on. Okay. But do you guys see how it's just like natural, glowy, dewy? Look at the eyes. Okay. So this is my new routine. Very natural looking. Um, wakes you up. Got the highlight, highlight, glowy, dewy skin. You guys saw that. I mean, you saw what it looked like in the beginning. So it does make some difference. I'm going to save this video. Um, I will put it on YouTube. If you guys have any questions, let me know. And then hopefully later tonight, if I get around to it, which I should, I will post all the names of the products with swipe up so you guys can shop them because they're really great. Okay? So thanks for joining, guys. Um, I'll share some sneak peek behind the scenes today of my photo shoot. And I hope everyone has a really, really great day. And go crush this Wednesday. If you guys are meal prepping with us, tonight is fajita night. And I'm excited about it. They're going to be so good. All right, you guys. Have a great day. Speak to you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.